Ryan with Miss Dog Geek here, and in this installment, we are going to be replacing inductors on the back of the QDX. Now, the problem is that some of the some of the inductors that uh, Hans designed the board with did not perform as expected. Uh, whether that's a problem with the manufacturing or a problem with the inductors themselves, I don't know. But they are L1, this guy here, um, L9, L7, and um, L5, which is this little tiny guy right here. I'm gonna bump up the magnification here. Hopefully this works out well for you. So re first step is to remove these. And um, this is a, one of those things that's gonna be more fiddly than it is difficult. So to remove them, I think the easiest thing to do is add a little bit of solder to them and then um, get the solder hot and just pull them off. Now we don't wanna actually clip them off because we don't wanna hurt the board. Uh, we definitely don't wanna hurt the board. So what I'm going to do is verify I have the right one, L1, L1, there we go. Okay, so here we go. Add a little bit of solder. Warm them up, and it's off. That's number one. Okay, the next one is L9. Okay, that, there goes that one. And next is L7, which is right here. Gone. And L5. And L5 just stuck to something else. <laughs> there we go. All right, now do an inspection. Make sure I didn't make any solder bridges with that fiddly bit right there. Yeah, I did not. All right, so the next thing is to add the replacements. So for L1, it says from the bottom side of R1 to the top side of L2. So the bottom side of L1, which is gonna be right here, to the top side of L, uh, let's see, hang on, let me read the directions very closely here. Bottom side of R1 to, I'm sorry, okay. From the bottom side of R1 to the bottom side of C2. So R1 is this guy right here. That's R1. So we can add some solder to the bottom side of this and then the top side of C2, which is right here. So to start, what I'm gonna do is make a little room right here. Get some of that solder out of the way. So we're gonna go from here to here with a new inductor. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add some solder to these. So R1 is right here and C2. Okay, so I've added solder. That'll make it a whole lot easier to install one of these, oops, sorry, one of these inductors. So I'm gonna just go ahead and cut these four inductors out I'm gonna leave plenty of lead length on them, but we're not gonna use all that lead length. I'll just cut one off for now. Okay, 
All right, so the route that I want this to take is going to be, and this is where planning comes in here. I want it to attach there. Oops. So I want it to attach here. Right there. So I'm going to take this with my plot these and just bend it. And I want this to attach right here. Make sure I get. <laughs> It's definitely fiddly, guys. Definitely fiddly. Patience. Okay, there's that. And then the spot I want it to attach is right here. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of extra length and bend it just so that, that the basically the bends mark the cuts. So I'm going to cut here. Now, what I'm gonna do to make my life a little simpler, is I'm gonna take a breath, pause for a moment because my fingers are getting numb, and I'm gonna do something easy. I'm gonna tin the ends just a little bit. There we go. That was more than a little bit, but <laughs> oh well. Um, now I don't have to add solder when I'm trying to solder. Get a little bit of this off of there. All right. So I'm going to pause, take a break, let my fingers rest. Okay, it's been a few minutes. I have rested my fingers. And now we're going to try to install this little tiny thing here. So again, we're going from the bottom of R1 to the top of, oh crap, <laughs> not the top of C2, the bottom of C2. So did I just totally mess that up? Yep. Not the top of C2, the bottom of C2. Okay, well, can we make this work? Thankfully, I left it a little bit on the long side, didn't I? Did I leave it long enough? Mm. Maybe we can solder bridge this here. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to, just looking at this, I need to bend this down just slightly so that it goes down to the board. Don't lose it. I think I went down too far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this down a little bit. I just, the main thing here is planning. And I, I planned wrong because I went to the top of C2 instead of the bottom. But it can be recovered. I'm not worried. Okay, so I'm going to solder that there. and I can bend the rest to my will. Okay. 
probably. There we go. Okay, so I got, see I got it soldered to C2 there, the bottom of C2. And I'm gonna press it down. It's tenuous, <laughs> I think it's the right word. Uh, it's not much of a solder, but it should be enough. And I don't wanna short out C2. I am not happy with this at all, let me tell you. And yeah, that's not. Is it? There we go. That's better. And now my plan. should it work is to solder bridge right here and so seeing as how I'm usually good at making solder bridges when I don't intend to it should be pretty easy to do it when I do I'm going to skip down to page 45 of the manual. 45? Yeah, 45. And I'm going to look at the schematic. And I'm going to check, make sure that I didn't screw anything up by checking for some continuities. So, all right. So I just checked continuity and we're good. Uh, basically, the, this end of C2 goes straight to the output, and then of course the other side is gonna to go to R2. And since this is an inductor, there should be continuity, and there is, so we're good. All right, the next one is going to be, all right, so the next one is the top side of R9. Right here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of solder. I'm going to attempt to add a little bit of solder. <laughs> there. And then this pad right here. So I need to go from there to there with an inductor. So we'll plan that out. Same as before. And really, I mean, you could probably stop watching now <laughs> um, because they're all the same. You've got to plan it just perfectly and, uh, you know, try to try to make it right. You can make, you can mess up and be okay, but you know, it's better not to. So, This one's got a bend to go right, let's see, right here. So I'm gonna put a bend there. And I'm just gonna cut it a, probably a little bit long. Not probably, that's definitely a bit long. That's not a bit long, that's just too long.
I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. I am going to just straight solder this in right now. That is in. Make sure I'm just gonna triple check that I got in the right one. I did. And then the next lead needs to go to the top of R9. So I'm gonna do actually. Bend that like so. And cut it right there. And what it's gonna do is give me the flexibility to do maybe this. Yep, that works. Give a little bit more bend. So now you can see it's bent down right within saw, uh, air shot of R9. Might need to add a little bit of solder to it. There we go. And of course, we want to pay attention to how close these are to the board because they need to be pretty close to the board um, for clearance sake. So I'll just push this down. And there we go. So that's from the top of R9 to this pad right here. And I'm just gonna do the next two off camera because this is exceedingly boring. All right, so here's the results. And I went ahead and uh, just did the last two. And what I ended up doing was uh, turning this and then cutting it short on this one and then soldering it in and then um, just putting the, putting it in with the other lane, the other lead way out to here um, looking to see where it would need to go and then cutting it extra about that far and then bending it over and soldering it up so um, these should be good to go here cut that little extra thing off we want these to be as flush as possible, so I'm just gonna give this a, give them a push, make sure that they are. And the next step now is the enclosure. This is it. So that's the next video. Stay tuned.